Tonight in our 7 News flashback, Sydney Tower, the instantly recognisable soaring symbol, has changed names a few times over the years, but has remained a constant high point of the city skyline. Sydney Tower has been putting on a show for more than 30 years. It's one of our best attractions, you know, it's up there with the bridge, the opera house, it's on that, that to-do list that you just tick off. Plans for the project were unveiled in March 1968. The tower would cap the Centrepoint project, a shopping city in the heart of the CBD. For more than seven years, Sydney siders watched the famous golden bucket slowly creep skywards. A project as huge as the AMP Centrepoint required filming over a period of ten years. This film has been shown in tourist agencies around the world. It finally opened in 1981. This is Sydney Tower, 305 metres over 1,000 feet above street level. In its first year, more than 1.3 million visitors took in the new view. Diners flocked to the revolving restaurant. The cost of a ticket to the observation deck was $3.50. Today, it'll set you back $26. Over the years, the tower has been a backdrop for beauty pageants and protests, including this stunt by Greenpeace. While daredevil Elaine Roberts landed himself in a paddy wagon after scaling the landmark. The policeman catch me in the middle. Three huge sculptures were added to the top of the tower for one of the city's biggest events. They'll become Olympic beacons night and day until the Sydney Games. Just like Olympic athletes, the tower is all about strength. It was built to withstand earthquakes and gale force winds. Its 56 giant cables would stretch from Sydney to New Zealand if laid end to end. The tower has weathered all kinds of conditions, including direct lightning strikes. Hollywood resorted to a meteorite strike to bring down the tower in the 2005 movie Supernova. There was a real-life emergency in 2009. A city icon swallowed by thick black smoke. Fortunately, no major damage was done. While most visitors take the high-speed lifts to the top, every year runners race up more than 1,300 steps for charity and bragging rights. Michelle Shibetsky doesn't like to brag, but she has one of the best jobs in the city. And you really get to see everything from a bird's eye view, um, which is pretty unique. Michelle is a skywalk guide and spends much of her day on the roof of the tower. You get people from all over the world uh, and they come up here just to get a good view of Sydney. It's the best, it's the best view and they, they see Sydney from the ground and from up here you really get a perspective of what you can all see. Thousands of tourists and locals and a few famous faces have tested their fear of heights since the Skywalk opened in 2005. It's pretty magical. No matter what time you come, it's always different. You can...